Hi, I'm David Gonzalez, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to modify your sims position using the weight parameter. First I'm going to do is load my footage, go to my VR media, and we're going to use some Setcam S1 Pro that Luis Flores has sent us. Thank you for that. Just drag it in, and I'm going to quickly load the S1 Pro preset, which is down here. Remember that every time you're working with a fisheye lens you have to go into calibration mode and center the lenses so that your stitch is much more accurate from the start so I'm just gonna do that quickly that should do and if I show you the feather overlay now uh, we can see how f the four cameras are taking an even space on the stitch but I want camera 2 to be more important and have uh, and cover more of the stitch uh, so that I don't have uh, optical flow artifacts in these parts of this of the screen so I'm just gonna drag up the weight parameter and you can see how I'm uh, moving the seams away from the car or I can even make them closer so in this case I just wanna do it like this and then let optical flow deal with all the other uh, imperfections on the stitch. Uh, another use of the weight parameter will be with uh, custom rigs in which we don't have that much overlap. Sometimes uh, Mystica can fail to achieve uh, or to, to define the seams by itself. Uh, so I'm just going to load some new media. This is a custom rig by Leo Films. Um, as soon as the media is uh, loaded, I'm just going to drag the PT GUI project that I created previously. If you want to see how to how Mystica integrates with PT GUI, we have some more tutorials in our Vimeo website. So, as soon as I load it, I can see that uh, there is some part of the images uh, that aren't properly covered by the by the cameras. So, I want to reduce the range. Uh, of camera, the camera that is pointing down, which is camera 11. Uh, so what I want to do is just reduce the weight until the red line matches the blue line. The red line defines the feather and the blue line defines the coverage of that particular camera. Uh, so at that point I'm covering the whole uh, scene with that. And then we just need to match color and maybe increase a bit the feather and that should be it I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching